Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Penny Charles and I'll be going to Kamkunji today. I want to go and pick up a few things for my kitchen and I'll be going with my friend Nisha Kwaredi. I'm actually waiting for her to come pick me up. So I want to make breakfast as I wait for her because you don't want to go to Kamkunji with an empty stomach. Shopping is very tiring and Kampunji has a lot of people and it can be a little bit hectic and you honestly need some energy for that. Like you need a lot of energy for that. So let us prepare breakfast as I wait for my friend to come and pick me up. So I'm actually trying to maintain a healthy diet and today we are going to be having cassava. This is what I'm going to be having for breakfast. This is boiled cassava. It's actually ready to eat. I most of the time eat it like this, just, you know, I just boil and make some drinking chocolate and we're good. But my sister taught me another trick, by the way, to make the cassava even more sweeter. She told me you can actually deep fry the cassava and they, like, they really slap. I've actually tried once and they were really sweet. It's only that I cannot eat some deep fried stuff every other time, but I deep fry once in a while. And that said, we are going to deep fry this boiled cassava that I already have. Actually, she's the one who brought me this. And as boilingi kwake ananileta, my sister is such a sweetheart. She'll even boil gideri anilete. I ended na ukwa pate nduma anilete. So she's, yani she's a sweetheart. She's really a good sister to me. All the memories we made under the summer sun Chasing after waves, a taste of berries on my tongue So here is our cassava. You can see how yummy they look, ready to eat. And actually, guys, I didn't know this hack. Like, I didn't know you can deep fry cassava. I didn't know you can have very healthy breakfast that is also very yummy. Thanks to my sister, now I know. As I mentioned, I don't eat the cassava deep fried all the time. Most of the time, I actually eat them just boiled with some salt. And they also slap, by the way. They are really, really sweet. Like, honestly, you should try them. You should try them. If you cannot stand them just um, boiled, you can try to deep fry them. And I promise you guys, you will love them. You will love them and you will be in love and you'd want to eat them over and over again. So I'm just going to have this with some drinking chocolate because I'm trying to avoid coffee and I hope my friend is going to be here soon. We go shopping. I love shopping guys for anything. Anything that involves shopping by the way, call me at 2 a.m. I'll wake up. So let me have my breakfast. My friend is going to be here any minute. So allow me to have my breakfast, then we head out. <music> I'm done having breakfast and I'm so full and I have all the energy to deal with the people in Kamkonji. I have a client uh, who wants me to buy her some mats, the door mats, ISO mats. And if time allows me, I'll rush to Gikomba and pick up the mats. It's going to be easy because uh, Gikomba is not so far from Kamkonji. Also, I have a plug, so I just know I just need to go to one person, pick the mats, and uh, that will be it. So if time allows me, I'll just rush to Gikomba, get the mats, because I mean, I need the money. Then when I come back home, I'll show you guys everything that I was able to shop. My friend is here, so let us go to Kamkonji. Was part from ashes straight to my heart. I'd never noticed, but you were never there, you were never there. 
to get everything that i wanted to buy in kamkunji and i managed to go to gikomba as well like i'm so happy because i killed two birds with one stone so i'm just going to show you what i got in kamkunji and i'll also show you the mats that i got in gikomba they are so beautiful you will not believe it so let us un let us unbox together so the first thing that i got and actually the most important thing that I wanted in, in Kamkonji was plates. I wanted to buy some nice plates. Because I bought these plates in Gwanazo. Imagine, easy plates in Gwanazo for the longest time. When I started life, I bought these the melamine. Then I bought these I bought them at, I think, 500 for 6 or either 600 for 6. And uh, we are talking about some, I think... Five or four years ago, kasa babu ni mpya na easy plate sana. Na mimi ni baby girl, so nili kwa na itaji some you know pretty uh, plates. Not that these ones are bad, kasa babu I mean since ni kwa ziki serve the purpose. See it ni mbaya, but honestly ni kwa ataka for upgrade. Tuli sema we always create room for upgrade. Sindiyo. So let me show you the plates that I got, and you'll not believe it, guys. So these are the plates that I got. So that is how the plate looks like. Aki white tends to reflect a lot. I'm trying all the angles to make sure you guys see how the plate looks like. But yeah, guys, it looks like that. I love the design. And these are very good quality uh, plates. There were so many plates, by the way, but this one spoke to me. I really like it. I love the design. I love the fact that it's very good quality and I also love the fact that it's big. So in the event that you're serving your rice, na maybe stew, na your vegetables, your food is still going to look so good and well served. So I picked it for that reason and it's so cute by the way. Like I love the design. I love the design a lot and I love the fact that it's white. Actually, they didn't have them in any other color they only had white if maybe they had a black version of this maybe ningi consider but um, i still don't mind the white and our plates look like that as i mentioned i bought um i got six of them for 2000 kenyan shillings all right i actually was sort of shocked because the last time i checked Plates were going for 1,200, the most expensive one, at least 1,500. But um, in any case, uh, times have changed and I think everything has really gone up. So I think this was a really good deal. I think that was fair enough and I got myself very nice plates. I got six of them. The other thing I got is these organizers. I got two of them. They look like that. They are so cute, by the way. I love the design a lot, and I love the color, and I love the size. Like, these ones are going to be perfect. I needed some organizers for my kitchen drawers, so these ones are going to serve the purpose, and they are really cute. Like, I love them. I love the color. I love everything about them. And I got this for 300 Kenyan shillings each, so these two are 600 Kenyan shillings. I also got another organizer that is so cute look at that guys you can see how cute this is 
and I needed this for my bathroom to maybe put some tissues and this one can I think uh, accommodate like you know three rolls of tissue karibu ni same three tissues <laughs> yeah it can accommodate three rolls of tissue it's really cute I love this card detail on this side it's really nice so this organizer is going to look really good on my bathroom because I mean the details it's so beautiful i love it they actually had these in white and black so i preferred the white one and i know this is going to look really good on my bathroom i want to uh, revamp my bathroom really soon so i have started to buy so i've started buying things poly 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 so that is the cute organizer and i got this for 350 kenyan shillings so the other thing I got ni hii kakitu ya kushikilia shower gel acha nikatoa hapa ndani. Hii kana itango aje. Acha nitoe hapa ndani. This is what I'm talking about. Sijui inaitwa aje but najua ni kitu ya kushikilia shower gels kwa bafu. And as I mentioned guys, I want to do a revamp on my bathroom because yo, my bathroom needs some love. So, I got this ka thing for 500 Kenyan shillings. Uh it came with these stickers and they they assured me that these stickers are going to be enough to stick this whole thingy or wall and I'm really hoping that is going to be possible but of course I'll do that with you guys so you will see for yourselves and um, I picked this one because I mean I love the black it's so cute it's really nice and uh, another thing with black I'm so sure it's not going to rust kwa sababu iko kwa bafu inashika maji every other time so black will be ideal for the bathroom it's so cute it's really really nice and i got this did i mention the price i got it for 500 kenyan shillings only another favorite thing i got is this uh scented candle and let me tell you guys this cut thing smells so nice and you'll not believe it i bought it for 350 kenyan shillings only it looks like that on the inside. I love the packaging by the way. The packaging is so cute. The two colors, the car, like the cartoon is so beautiful. The packaging is really, really beautiful. And um, I got this for 350 Kenyan shillings only. Um, I'm just really hoping that it's going to be long lasting. But of course, I'm going to give you guys the review of this scented candle. So those are the things that had taken me to Kamukunji, only that this was impulse buying, but I don't regret it because the deal was so good, and I'm really hoping that the candle is going to be worth it. I, For my house, I buy things slowly, slowly, because sometimes you honestly don't have a lot of money to go and do, you know, a whole haul, but ukiongeza pole 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 at the end of the day, you'll find yourself uh, with everything that you need for your house, and these were the urgent things that I need because yo nataka kuacha kutumizi sahani <laughs> yeah so i'm happy i got everything that uh, i wanted so now let me show you the mask the beautiful mask that i got uh, from Kikomba, and i'm going to plug you guys the guy that sells me the mats has very good mats and also has very good carpets by the way you can get a very nice like a very good looking and uh, very good quality mats from him so i'm going to leave his number on the screen his name is morris so so you can call him and even if you want to buy mats to go and resell he can still uh, sort you out so you can reach out to him he's based in Gikomba and he has amazing things let me show you sample of the mat that I got from him this is the first mat it looks like that it's really beautiful I love this kind of mats by the way and this mat is in very good condition it's not torn actually it's as good as new you can see how the you can see how the back looks like it's not torn at all and it's in very good condition i also love the color and the texture the texture is really good with the the texture is really good and i bought this for 500 kenyan shillings only i see these uh mats on instagram most of the people sell them at a thousand and 900 kenyan shillings but in gikomba you'll get this at 500 kenyan shillings only or even less sometimes but this one i bought at 500 kenyan shillings i also got this uh gray mat this is actually circular let me show you how it looks like it looks like that it looks like that it's in very good condition not torn at all 
that is the back and I got the exact gray that my client wanted yeah it's a very nice gray and also the texture is really good uh, because uh, this is a round mat I think here near Balechini kwa dining table I'm not so sure but these days people are very creative but of course I know my client will know what to do with the mat because I sent her a photo of the of the mat and she was like I like it so I know she is going to be happy sometimes by then you can be lucky to get a set and I was lucky today I got a set of these two. This is another shade of gray that is really good. And it's this size. It looks like that. And the back looks like that, guys. You can see, again, it's in very good condition. And the texture is also really good. This other capat is a smaller one. And it looks like that. It's a very good shade of uh, gray. It actually looks like brown, but it's not brown. It's a shade of gray. And I got this for 500 Kenyan shillings only. And this one was, I think, 300 bob. Yeah, the big ones go for 500. This small one, you can get them for mostly 300 Kenyan shillings. The Kenyan are 350, but 300 Kenyan shillings. So these two were 800 Kenyan shillings. I also got this cute uh, beige mat and I actually got this for myself. You can see how beautiful it is. The texture is really good and the combination of the colors is also really good. This one, um, my house is not even this color, but I will know what to do with it. Like it was just so good uh, seeing a watcher. I'm going to take all of them to the client. If she likes it, well and good because you never know people play around with colors and they come out really good and that mat was also 500 kenyan shillings the good thing with the comba by the you can get really good stuff at a very um affordable price because easy mat i know all of you most of you have seen them on instagram and i know you've seen uh, people sell them at 900 uh, ama a thousand bob but even the a thousand bob or 900 is not too expensive for a good quality thing because we will take time akenda kikomba akachagua so i could have 900 ama a thousand bob for me it's very fair but i'm lucky because uh, i go to kikomba every other time and i know what to get where you know so that is it guys those are the masks that i was able to get from maurice i'm going to put his number on the screen so you can call him uh in case you want mats and i'm telling you guys this guy has very good mats it's just that by there i didn't have a lot of time and i already knew what i wanted but um he has very good mats and he has very good second hand carpets like the carpets are so good and they are also not very expensive uh so you can call him if you want any of that all right so that is it for today guys that is uh uh the the end of our gikomba and kamukunji hall and i'm so happy thank you so much for watching thank you for always being here uh please consider subscribing consider giving this video a very big thumb it's going to mean a lot to me and also guys when you're watching our videos as content creators if in opposition please try so hard not to skip ads iso ad nafanyanga to live by so thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye